I'm kind of fucked up right now, man. I just delivered next door that building over there. So, you know, I talk about friends, right? How there's no such thing. It was family. His name was Gary Anger. He passed away. I was here all the time, man. I haven't seen him in a long time. I just delivered to this apartment complex, man. This place is, this is the trap, man. It really is. It's nice, but there's cockroaches, all types of shit. It's, it's ghetto as fuck over here, man. This, when everybody comes from Detroit, they try to get out of Detroit. This is where they come. That's who I just delivered to, somebody from the hood. You can tell the fucking uh, screens are all torn out, all that shit. Crazy, man, I miss him. I miss him a lot. If I, when I get a chance, I'm gonna go see his grave, but. Miss Anger, if you see this video, I love you, and when I get a chance, I will be dropping money off on your doorstep as I have already dropped off a flower. Flowers, um, I hope that you got them. Uh, I'm sure you have. They weren't on your porch when I came by the next day. Um, just know that I think about you and Gary Anger on a daily basis. Um, when you do come across this video, Diane, um, if you do, know that your son isn't forgotten, um, and a lot of what I do is not just for Margarita, Margarita, Mago, um, but also for your son and you. And what you both have taught me over the years um, growing up not necessarily directly but indirectly watching you unconditionally watch your son go through addiction and uh, watch him rob your home and whatnot and you still still loved him like he was like he never did it and it really hurt me because I've never done anything like that to my family. And I always told him, like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? And like, he even stopped talking to me. He would avoid me for a while because I put him on blast. Like, you know, like, wow, you're really stupid that low, bro. Like, I know, like, you're, you know, I know we're fucked up, but. I know a lot of it though, I know there's no excuse, but a lot of it is he didn't have a dad. He didn't have nobody. His uncle died young, his dad died young. His sister wasn't close to him. His mom was dating his stepdad, which they didn't get along. He didn't, they didn't, he didn't feel comfortable, just like I didn't feel comfortable in every other home I was dragged into. And that was the closest person to me um, in my whole life, other than one other person, which is alive. Um, I miss you, Diane. I hope to see you soon. I'm hoping to run into you when I stop by your house and bring you some money. God bless you, woman.